Now I want to take just a minute uh, and talk about how Dreamweaver can interact directly with your web server so that the changes that you make here and save on your local computer can be exported up to the web server. And Dreamweaver's got this really nice feature and I'm not sure if on some of the other HTML editing and website building software um, how you do this. I'm sure most of them have a similar functionality but if I click on the manage sites here what this will allow me to do is create a a new site that corresponds with what I'm building on the application and in order to do that I'm gonna click new here I'm gonna create a new site and I'm gonna call this 201 to sales sales conference keep things consistent now what is the address of our site this is the site that we are going to be putting these files up to and in fact they're the site on which our HTML files and graphics are going to reside so we'll name our main website here and then hit next and uh, I don't want to use a particular server technology um, although we could and I do want to edit local copies on my machine and upload them to the server and now it's asking me where do I want to store my files so I've already got a place and I want to do it right here so I'm going to choose that hit next and how do I connect to the remote server well in this case I use an FTP client to connect and I'll just put in my specific uh, host name and information right here for what folder on the server do you want to store your files in you need to put the specific folder on your web server where you want to put your files so that way when you upload them it knows exactly where to go so you may want to create a directory specifically for your promotional items or your marketing campaigns once you get all of your information filled out you can hit test connection and Dreamweaver will try to go up and talk to your web server and make sure that it connected successfully and in this case it did so then we'll move next and we'll leave that at the default setting and now we've set up a site that we can simply port our files up to and pull them back down from as we're working on our uh, HTML marketing piece.